What's going on everybody? We back again. Another episode of Coffee Talks where I'm curating some of my favorite coffee roasters and leadership talks from some of my favorite people. Today, man, I got you some Joe's Coffee out of New York City, New York. Cool thing about Joe's, they are the very first cafe in New York to actually do latte art. Fun fact. So they've been around a long time. So they've been in the business a long time. What I like about Joe's though, is they're not commercialized to the point where they ain't, they're still doing some great single origin, some great roast. This is a Congo single origin small batch. It is tasty. It's got like a raisiny taste to it, which is awesome. There's a little bit of fruity notes on the back end, but man, you smell and taste a lot of that raisiny flavor. Delicious. I encourage you, get yourself some Congo from Joe's Coffee. Hey, and maybe they have some of the best latte art in the world since they've been doing it for a long time. Who knows? Go check it out. Today, we're back again with some Dale Carnegie. Here's what I want you to know, and I want you to get this in your spirit. You want to make a difference, right? You want to have an impact in people's lives, right? You want to be able to build friendships that are healthy, right? You want to have a good relationship with your wife? I'm sure all these are answers that you are saying yes to because we all want good relationships with our kids, coworkers, friends. We want influence. We want to make a difference. If not, I don't know why you're watching this video, right? Because that's what we want. Here's a kicker you're going to have to learn. Come on, I'm going to teach you a secret. You've got to learn to start with what you agree with, not what you disagree with. What? What? No, listen, listen, you got to really lean into this. You got to focus on what do you agree on. Even your starkest opponent, there's something you two agree on. Even the person that's got the views that are so opposite of you, there's something you agree on. Even that coworker that just drives you up a wall, there's something you agree on. Even that teenager that you feel like we are just budding head to, there's something you agree on. Here's what I know. We all have a similar string that ties us together. Think about it like this. Even politicians, no matter what side of the line they are on, no matter if they serve in the donkey or they serve in the elephant, right? No matter what color they subscribe to, you know they got into politics, most of them, because they genuinely want to help people. They genuinely want the country to be good and successful. Most politicians you could look at, that's why they got into it. Now, they may have different ways of getting to that. They may have a different idea how they think it's going to happen, but they have a similarity that they have a same common goal. Everybody that's good has this same common goal. There are things you can find with people that you can agree on. And if you can learn that and you can start the conversation with getting people to say yes and agreeing and getting on common ground, you're gonna have a more productive, healthy debate and conversation with the person. But here's what happens. If you get them saying no and resisting, and if you start on opposing grounds from the start, you know what happens? Walls build up. There's actually something psychologically that happens. Actually, psychologists have found this out, that when you say the two-letter word no, Every part of your neurosystem gets charged up. It gets tense. It gets in a resist mode. It gets in a defensive posture because what it's doing is it knows, knows bad, resist, defend. So if we start with what we differ on instead of what we agree on, we're starting in a defensive posture. You can't have a healthy conversation that way. But the opposite happens with yes. Yes brings calmness. Yes brings relaxation. Yes brings this idea there's this unity between us. It's called the Socrates method. Socrates had this method where he said it like this. He always would have a conversation with getting as many yeses up front as possible before he would ever start interjecting an opinion that would be different than someone else. So he would strategically ask questions he knew they would respond yes to. Why? Because he knew he had to get someone not in a defensive posture, but in a posture of relaxation so he could actually let them hear what his point of view was. 
Because so many times, no one ever wants to hear another side of the story because they're immediately in a defense posture. But how can we have a healthy communication if we don't learn to ease the conversation in? A famous CEO said that I would have saved thousands and thousands of dollars and it would have saved me many years if I finally learned the art, it doesn't pay to argue. It is much more profitable and much more interesting to look at things from the other person's viewpoint and trying to get the person to say yes, yes first before I ever get into the no, no posture. So let me teach you something. Let's find out where we agree before we ever start getting into the conversations on where we differ. All right, guys, till next time. Pray God's peace.